So now let's do a practice question where we want to determine the northing and easting of a specific point. Here it's going to be point B. So what we're going to do is take the northing and easting of our benchmark and determine the northing and easting of station B. So if we read the question here, we're told we have a close plane traverse survey is conducted starting at station A and ending at station A. So it's just a closed plane traverse. Keyword here, it's a plane traverse. And we know the state plane coordinates for station A. So N sub A, the northing at A is 1475. And the easting at A is 598. So this is our benchmark essentially so these values are the northing and easting and this depends on the state plane coordinate system so it uses our cartesian coordinate system so it allows us to do a plane survey so all we have to do here is just a simple plane survey to get our relevant point in this case which is point b so we know northing and easting once again is always for the state plane coordinate system and if we continue here, we're told the northing and easting of point B is most nearly what? What's the northing and easting? So we know we start at station A and end at station A. We're given the bearing between A and B, between B and C, and D and A. We're given this bearing angle. We're given the length between A and B, B and C, D and A. But here we're just focusing on what two points? station a and b right so we want to focus on a and b we want to look at the bearing the length and what we're not given is the latitude here so this is missing and the departure is also missing and we can use this information to find the northing and easting at b so let's write what we want to find find the northing at B and the easting at B and what we're given here is that we know the northing at A is going to be the 1475.00 and the easting at A is going to be the 5 98.00 and if I draw a picture real quick we know that we're going essentially here the northeast right and we have a bearing so we start at the north this is north up right this is our north and we go northeast east is to the right right we start north and go east right so this is the angle which is our bearing angle so it's going to be the angle of 72 degrees so 72 degrees and 30 minutes and 0 seconds so this is that angle because from A to B we go northeast 72 degrees 30 minutes and we know we start at A and we end at B and we have the northern get A and we have the northern get B sorry easting at B and we do not have the northing and easting at B so this is northing at A this is easting at A this is northing at B easting at B which is what we want to find here and we're, we know the length right between A and B that's given to be the 242.917 so 242.917 feet, right? So that's in feet. And what I'm going to propose here is to find the northern at B and easting at B. What we can do is take the northern at A and add the latitude. That will give us the northern at B. Then to find the easting, which is the X, right? The departure in the x direction, we take the easting at A, which we know, plus the departure, and we can get the easting at B. So here we know we need the latitude and departure. So we know we will need this y. 
So the latitude is always in the y, and the departure here is going to be in the x. This is in the x. And from the previous video, we spoke about this, but to reconfirm what we did there, the latitude is going to always be, in this case, based on this angle, this is the bearing angle alpha, it's going to be L cosine of alpha. So the latitude here is going to be the length cosine of alpha, and the departure here is going to be the length sine of alpha, using the Pythagorean theorem, because we know this is alpha. And this is the length, right? The 242.917. So let's find the latitude and longitude. So the latitude for AB and the departure, sorry, the departure for AB. So we need to find the latitude and departure. And we're going to fill these in here. So the latitude from A to B is going to be the length, which is the 242.917. And we do the cosine of 72 degrees, 30 minutes. So what I'm finding here is this vertical y distance, which is the latitude, right? And to get that, you just plug that in the calculator. I did that in the previous video. So at this point, I believe we know how to do that. So it's 73.04. That's what we get for that latitude. And it has units of feet. So this is the distance in the y we must go up to get to point B. But now we want to find the departure. So departure from A to B, departure A to B is going to be same thing, 242.917. And all we do here is change cosine to sine degrees 30 minutes and for that you should get positive 231.67 feet so this is positive this is positive because we start at a go up up is positive right and here we start at a and go to the right departure is also positive be careful with the signs so they're both positive here so we have that now, and now to find the northern get B and the eastern get B, we're doing here a plane survey. So it's very easy because we have a state plane coordinates that are given. Their northern and eastern are state plane. So these are Cartesian coordinate systems, and they will allow us to do a, just a simple plane survey. Then all we have to do is add these latitudes and departure. So the latitude here will be the value what we got down there. It's 73.04. And the departure here, we're going from A to B, right? It's the same value we got down there. So it's 231.67. So we have that. And now we can find the northern get B. It's going to equal to the northern get A plus the latitude AB which is this. So let me keep the colors consistent. So latitude AB, which is this, right? So that's that the northern get B. So the northern get B, we take the northern get A, which is given. So the northern get this point A, it's 1475. So 1475.00 plus the latitude AB, it's this. So 73.04 feet. And for that, we should find the northern get B. And I got around 1548.04. So we have the northern get B. That's one answer. Now we find the easting at B. The easting get B, we just take the easting at A plus what? Departure, right? Because easting is in the X, which is the departure we call that the departure departure and a b right a b so easting at b we take the easting at a and that is given to be 598 in the statement so it's 598.00 plus the departure there which is this so it's going to be 231.67 so the easting at B, I got around 
sorry, 820, yeah, 829.67. So our answers here is this. This is the northern get B, and this is the eastern get B. And nor notice here how it was quite simple because the state plane coordinate system allows us to do this. It allows us, the first thing, it allows us to do just a plane survey, the state plane coordinate system. So we just do a plane survey, a simple plane survey. We're not considering Earth's curvature here. So it's just a plane survey, a flat plane, right? And then we just take these coordinates using the state plane coordinate system, the northern and eastern, for the specific zone. So it depends on the state and the zone. For a specific zone, we're given the northern and easting, and all we do here is add the latitude and departure to find our next point, essentially station B. And you can do the same for station C, right? So now we have the northern and easting for station B and the for B, the northern and easting for B, then we can go to C and we just add this latitude and departure to get C. You can go to D, then you end back at A. But yeah, that's all for this one. Let me know if you have questions. Please subscribe and like and take care.